Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back to another session. Uh, we'll be seeing now problems on network calculations based upon the previous two problem, uh, two classes. So this is the continuation part three. So first of all, we'll see with small examples. Then we'll go for a essay type questions. Okay. Now here, the first uh, thing is find the area of embankment. Find the area of embankment if the top width, top width of road is 6 meters and depth is 3 meters side slopes n is to 1 equals to 2 is to 1 now uh, just uh, embankment means above ground level above ground level okay top width 6 meters side slope this is 6 meters and depth is 3 meters and this is 2 is to 1 slope area they asked only simple problem only thing is we know formula b plus nd into d so b is how much 6 plus n is 2 into 3 into 3 ok that is 36 square meters simple 2 into 3 6 6 plus 6 12 12 3 is a 36 square meters this is a one mark question you may expect similarly we will do one more problem by calculating the volume that is find the volume of earthwork in an embankment of length 1 kilometer top width of road 6 meters depth 3 meters side slopes n is to 1 this is side slopes so same problem but here they have asked the what area now here it is volume means the figure will remain same top width this is 6 meters and this is 3 meters okay and n is to 1 that is 2 is to 1 okay area equals to what b plus nd into d okay so 6 plus 2 into 3 into 3 so 36 square meters now volume equals to area into length area is how much 36 into volume is 1 kilometer means 1000 meters okay so 36 thousand square cubic meters 36 thousand cubic meters okay this is the basic one you can use it right now we'll see one problem be related to lead and lift find the lead and lift of the following of the following okay this is and this is right now 
here the top width is 4 meters and here the bottom width is 3 meters is given next depth here is 3 meters and here it is 2 meters 1 and half is to 1 1 and half is to 1 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 this is ground level and the distance between spoil bank and cutting is 6 meters you are supposed to find out what is the lead and what is the lip now first of all what is lead from here to here it is lead horizontal distance between CG of this from the this next lift this portion is called lift right now what is this portion length what is this portion length you should know if it is n is to 1 means this will be nd and here it is also nd now from here lead equals to 4 by 2 means this distance 4 by 2 plus n into d what is n here 2 what is depth 3 okay plus from here to here it is 6 plus n into d what is n here 1.5 what is the depth here into 2 plus half of here this is the lead how much it is 4 by 2 means 2 plus 2 3 is a 6 plus 6 plus 1 and half into 2 means 3 plus 1.5 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1.5 so 18.5 meters is the lead means one initial lead additional lead one how initial lead is up to 10 meters only next to 10 meters it is additional lead next to coming to lift coming to lift portion direct d by 2 d by 2 so 3 by 2 from here it is half from here to center plus 2 by 2 so 1.5 plus 1 so 2.5 meters okay here also one initial lift initial lift 1 and additional lift because for every 2 meters express one lift will be there okay so by this you can calculate the what lead and lift from the figure given okay one should know this one n into d this portion this is rectangular and this is triangular portion and based upon the slope it is nd and this is also nd like that you have to calculate okay next one more final problem we'll see now based upon now small three methods okay Calculate the quantity of earthwork. Calculate the quantity of earthwork for one kilometer length for a portion of road. in an uniform ground uniform ground the heights of banks the heights of banks at the two ends being 1 meter and 1.5 meters formation width the formation width equals to 10 meters and uh, side slopes side slopes is 2 horizontal is to 1 vertical 
assume no transverse slope no no transverse slope means i will explain you take mean sectional method means you have to do by mean sectional area method mid ordinate method or mid sectional area method next prismoidal rule prismoidal method this is the question okay now <coughs> first based upon this uh, 1 km limit and uh, formation with the 10 meters this is 10 meters road means embankment now this is longitudinal direction of 1 km means like this you will be having this is 1 km and road is plain no transfer slope means no camber is there direct it is plain like this no camber is there okay now top width is 10 meters side slope is how much 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 so at this section 1 it is 1 meter and at this section at after 1 kilometer it is 1.5 meters one5 meters okay uh, two sections are there the di distance between two sections is thousand meters now first uh, we'll uh, go with uh, what mean sectional area method mean sectional area mean sectional area means what you have to calculate a1 that is b plus n d1 into d1 what is b plus n d1 into d1 10 meters plus 2 into 1 into 1 a2 cross section at this part so b plus n d2 into d2 means 10 plus 2 into d2 is how much this is d2 this is d1 so 1.5 into 1.5 okay so this is 12 square meters and this is 19.5 square meters now volume equals to what volume equals to direct a1 plus a2 by 2 into l what is a1 12 plus 19.5 by 2 into 1000 why 1000 1 kilometer plus 12 divided by 2 into 1000 so it is 15 750 cubic meters similarly if i go with the other method say mid sectional area method mid sectional area method means what first you have to calculate the average of d1 plus d2 by 2 what is d11 what is d2 1.5 by 2 so it is 1.25 now volume equals to what b plus n dm into dm into l means 10 meters plus 2 here average depth into 1.25 into 1000 how much you are getting 1.25 into 2 plus 10 into 1.25 thousand so 15 625 cubic meters this is one more method next last method that is prismoidal method 
trismoidal method means what that is l by volume equals to l by 6 a1 plus 4 times of am plus a2 now what is am am equals to this dm whatever the area you calculated means 10 plus 2 into 1.25 into 1.25 okay so 2.5 plus 10 into 1.25 so 15.625 upon now volume equals to what is l thousand divided by six by first area already we calculated here right 12 plus four times of 15.625 plus last area a2 19.5 okay so plus 19.5 plus 12 in in 2000 divided by 6 so you are getting 15666.67 cubic meters now these are the three methods these are the three methods for this problem one is mean sectional area method means first calculating the areas at each section and dividing it uh, average of those multiplied with the length you are getting the volume next uh, prismoidal method v l by 6 a 4 times of a m a 2 like that next dm all these are things okay uh, thank you for watching uh, please uh, try to follow these uh, part 1 part 2 part 3 sequence in order to understand it carefully and uh, please do subscribe and share for more updates thank you